In the typical Microsoft Office configuration, you have Office installed right on the desktop or laptop. Your desktop or laptop could be Windows or Mac OS X, and the applications you have installed could be Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. Typically, such installation requires license, and typically you get a license either when you get a new device, or as part of your job, or you have to purchase it independently. When you have Office applications installed locally, you have access to all the features of Office applications. And when you need to store the documents, you typically store the documents in the local file system storage. This is still very relevant and useful configuration because it allows you to be very productive and access to tremendous amount of features that are available in the desktop applications. But what if you're trying to get access to Microsoft Office for free? Can you get it? In this video, I will share with you how you can get access to Microsoft Office applications for free and why sometimes access to free cloud-based technology is better than access to traditional desktop-based applications. In this video, I will explain you how to access Microsoft Office for free. I will share with you cool features and capabilities of free version of Microsoft Office. And I will explain you why free version of Microsoft Office is better than traditional desktop version. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant, helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. Free version of Microsoft Office is available in office.com. When you navigate to the site, you can create a free account and get access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, OneDrive, Outlook, Teams, and more. You can access versions of Office available for laptop, desktop, or tablet devices right from office.com. And when you create an account, you can start working and creating documents right away. An alternative way to get access to free Office applications is by using OneDrive.com website. Same free account that you will create on office.com also works on OneDrive.com. You can also create a new account if you would like to keep both separate. And from OneDrive.com, you can also create new Office documents. Both websites allow you to access to browser-based Office applications. And you can create, edit, and upload Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and other Office documents type for free. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. So what are the features of free version of Microsoft Office? Obviously, you can create new documents. To create a new Office document, you can click on the plus sign in the upper left corner and pick the type of document you're trying to create. For example, if you're creating a new Word document, new Word file will be created in the cloud. The interface of Microsoft Word in the cloud is very similar to traditional interface of Word application on the desktop. It also supports a lot of sophisticated formatting. For example, you can build a quality resume here using tables. To add additional column, you click on the table, select Insert, and add a new column to the right. Because Word in the cloud supports images, you can attach image to your resume and hide the table by disabling table borders. Because when you clear the borders in this configuration by clicking the clear function, it makes your document look more professional. You can also upload and edit existing documents that you might have created using the desktop version. For example, office.com provides upload and open function in the upper right corner. And you can upload previously created Word file right from your desktop. When file is open on office.com platform, office.com platform preserves all the formatting and allows you to keep the copy in the cloud 
as well as save it as by downloading a copy, creating PDF, or downloading as in other formats. One of the coolest features that's available in the free version of Office.com platform is shared real-time editing. For example, if you share the link to the document with another user by using the share function, this user might start editing the document and you will see all the changes real-time in your copy of the Office.com document. And another cool feature that you get in the free version is ability to download, print, and convert the document. For example, in the File tab of the ribbon, you have access to Save As, which allows you to save the document in a different formats, as well as access to printing and sharing of the document. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this, and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. To better understand why free version of Microsoft Office is better for some scenarios, let's understand the typical document creation and editing workflow. Typically, there is a very important co-authoring document steps in document workflow. You might start by creating a new document or editing an existing document. But a lot of times, you might be required to co-author document with other people. Co-authoring means that you might send a link to other people and ask them to edit your document. You typically do it by using the shared feature in Office documents or copying the link and sending it directly via email. Co-authoring of the document is much more effective when you have one shared copy of the document and multiple people have access to this shared copy and can make edits. Having a single copy of the document in the cloud makes the step of co-authoring documents much more effective using the free version of Microsoft Office. In the past, typical setup of Microsoft Office was on the desktop. User can access desktop-based applications that were locally installed. Users would save the document into the local storage. And in some cases, the network server might have been created, which could be used to store backup copies of the document. Over time, people realized that in order to create high-quality document, you need to get feedback from other people. Concept of co-authoring was introduced, and software vendors, including Microsoft, started adding features to make co-authoring much easier. An example of co-authoring might be editing revisions of the document, having multiple people work on a student project, or work on a high-quality creative work. The entire review tab was introduced in Microsoft Office documents, which allowed you to track changes, accept or reject changes from other people, and compare multiple documents. When we were just starting our mission, we wanted to pick the name that would best describe our values. And this is the main reason why we picked howtoanalyzedata.net, because the core of our mission is covering questions how and why in every video that we make. Make sure you consider this when you're making your own decision whether to subscribe to the channel or not. Because online training for everyone is one of the few channels that provides you with the real answers. But in the old model, you're still required to share the document with other user, then making the changes, and then you going through the process of accepting and rejecting the changes. When Microsoft introduced storing documents on SharePoint as a central platform, it was a great idea, but SharePoint, unfortunately, never took off. And this technology was only accepted by the businesses. For a very long time, the only version of co-authoring for multiple people to edit the document was sharing the copy of the document on the local network. In this model, one user can create or edit documents, put them onto the shared local drive, notify another user, and then another user using similar desktop-based configuration would go ahead and edit, would review the changes, and provide suggestions for the documents that they were co-authoring. This was a great innovation back then, but the configuration required Office to be installed on user's device, device to be connected to the local network, and files shared over the network, either wired or wireless local network. Over the years, the dominant position that Microsoft Office established in document editing was challenged by free cloud-based platforms. Google created a free version of Office in the cloud, which allowed user to create an equivalent of any type of the Office file. At no cost, you can create a document in Google Docs, and suddenly users have access to free sophisticated editing capability. Please make sure to check out available downloads in the description section of this video. In addition to cloud-based challenge, over the years people started using mobile devices more and more. 
and started demanding features of Microsoft Office right on the mobile smartphones or tablets. Over the years, this challenged the dominant position of Microsoft Office in document editing, and the product started slowly losing market share. The new reality was the huge popularity of mobile devices, variety of different platforms on the desktop and mobile, as well as the competition from Google and Apple, forced Microsoft to rethink their cloud strategy. One of their biggest challenges was the question, how can you support the sophisticated and rich desktop-based environment, provide access and allow users to create and edit Microsoft Office documents on smartphones and tablets, as well as respond to challengers that only require the browser for Office document editing. This is how Office.com platform was created. This platform has Office applications for the browsers installed right in the cloud, which allows browser-based access to Office.com. You can use any modern browser like Chrome, Edge, which is Chromium-based, Safari, Firefox, or others to access and edit Microsoft Office documents. Documents could be stored in the cloud on the OneDrive storage, as well as locally on the desktop in the file system for your laptop or desktop, as well as locally in the mobile devices. Desktop users, mobile users, or browser users can co-author documents at the same time. And the coolest feature above all is that Office.com browser-based platform is free. And the only thing you need to start taking advantage of this platform is your browser. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.